Hi, Stephen Oliver here. I want to welcome you to 2011 and give you some ideas for growing your school in the new year. Now, one of the things that I'm continually frustrated with and depressed is how little attention that martial arts school owners devote to filling their school with new students. And what I've seen in, in uh, the last couple of years have been disheartening to some extent in the industry. We've been working really hard. Some of our members are hitting new record highs. But the, the, the sad reality is the martial arts industry has gone from about 18,500 active schools down to 13,500 more or less over this uh, last few recessionary years. And I think the biggest part of it is the natural tendency of school owners to think that teaching and the, the martial arts part of, of their school is the only thing or the most important thing that they have to deal with. And the reality is, if you're not out beating the bushes and inviting people in your community into your school, if you're not out looking for the right type of students, if you're not looking for people who are going to be very serious and dedicated, if you're not out looking for the right age group and demographic group for your school, you're going to end up floundering. And what I find many times is you know, we coach our, our school owners to have 10 or 15 things going on every month. Jay Abraham calls it the Parthenon effect. He, he likens marketing to a diving board where if you just have one thing that's bringing people in, that if that one thing is weak in any particular month, you're, you're suffering. However, if you have 5, 10, 15, 20 different drivers that are bringing people into your school, you'll thrive. And what I find so many times is school owners will sit in their school frustrated with their results rather than getting in their car and going out into their community and finding new students. And of course, there are three main directions that you can go in finding new students. First is internal promotions. Everything you can do to generate family add-ons and internal referrals, and you should have a variety of referral systems that are working each and every month. Number two is external community marketing activities, working with local church groups, with local, local scout troops, with local adult organizations, service organizations, working with area mer merchants, a, a variety of things you can do. And last, and, and, and sometimes least in, in this market anyway, is paid media and advertising, meaning everything from marriage mail like Val Packer, Money Mailer, to infomercials on TV, which I've done very successfully, 30-second TV spots, radio, uh, newspapers, and, and more recently and, and very effectively now is pay-per-click on Bing and Google and, and so forth. So there's a variety of things that you can do, but if, if you're not focusing every month on 10 or 15 different activities to generate students, I heard a great story one time, and it was about a chiropractor, but the uh, the, this chiropractic clinic brought in 35 new patients a month and people were astonished and amazed at the volume that he had and they, they would ask him, well what do you do to get 35 students or 35 in this case uh, patients a month and his comment was always, well I don't know anything to generate 35 patients but I do know 30 or 35 different things that I can do that will generate one or new patient, two patients each. And it's a useful story for us because if you have an activity that generates one new student and you have 20 of those going on each month, you'll have 20 new students. And so you really have to get out there and get to work and be focused on growing your school. And I hope that you'll go and do that now.